Alright, so welcome to part two of Noob's tutorial to XBMC. Um, in this tutorial, I will show you how to customize these menus here. And at the moment, they're really boring, so we're going to customize those with the images that you've previously saved to your computer. And with the settings, this is the latest build of Showmix. Um, the settings seem to be all altered and changed to everything we basically want. So just a quick scan through the settings to make sure that everything's okay. Um, yeah. So first of all, we want to go to settings. Click on that. Then go down to customize. And then backdrops. Now choose the menu that you want to change. So I'll just click pictures. And if you push up, it's going to let you select one image as a still image. Um, it won't alternate pictures, it'll just stay that image. Um, so if you push down, you'll have a slideshow of all these different images that you have saved in the folder. So it will push down and navigate your way to your XBMC file and backdrops and find the folder that you need click OK and it's going to change the background for you so what you need to do is do that to each of these menus and once you've done that um, I'll just quickly do this and you go away and do this and then I'll be back Alright, so I've now set all the images as my backdrops to these um, menus and you should have gone through and done the same. So the next thing we're going to do is we're basically just going to run through the settings real quick. Um, so click on settings and go into video and basically There's just a few options you should click on, so just watch what I click on and put it there. I'd plot for how much items. Okay, you can click on update library on startup and that's going to every time you add a movie to your folder, whichever stores your movies, it's basically gonna go through and get all the cover and movie information for you so click on that you don't need to worry about player subtitles now scrapers is where the website that it's scraping the information for your movie so I just leave these as default um, it's getting your movie information from there and your TV information from that website there the TV database um, and they're both really good sites so I'm just going to leave that now push escape and go to music and I think all these settings are pretty good as well um, I suggest you click on this um, it just helps clean everything up when you download a compilation album and that basically click all those on and um, your default scraper I actually changed mine to last FM and update on startup players fine files fine um, this is if you have a last FM account I'm not going to fill that out yet and that's all pretty good so push escape Now programs, I'm not going to go too much into programs, this is where you can get emulators and um, Hulu and stuff like that. Um, basically go on to Google and have a look for yourself, it's pretty pretty easy. Um, you can also play around with the programs inside XBMC, so that's something you can discover for yourself. Uh, pictures, I'm going to leave weather you want to change to your area so you click on it type in where you're from and it's going to search the internet and then come up with your town 
um, and basically that's all you need to do there all these all these options I mean you can go through yourself and have a look okay so we'll click on advanced now and go down to home now these are all pretty good at the moment okay these these options here are all for the views of um, what your multiplex looks like um, won't get into that yet but once you start playing around with what your videos and movies look like then you can come in here and alter these as well as your TV shows so these are all good uh, those are all good and those are all good so basically that's it you push escape um, customize I'm gonna go into here and come down to here now basically here you can alter what the scroll bar on your men home menu looks like as you can see the little um, ticker RSS feed is coming across down the bottom you can change the look of that and um, muck around with that but for now we're going to go to configure menus and it will exit um, XBMC after exiting doing any altering on this so what I want to do is I don't at the moment I don't want settings um, sorry scripts and I don't need sign out because I don't have a different user now you can add menus um, we won't go into that either yet but so at the moment I'm just going to get rid of those so I push escape and it's going to quit XPMC Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to add uh, video, your video, all your movies to your movies folder. So what you want to do is you're going to go across until you find videos, select that. Now on your computer somewhere you're going to have all your movies saved. Um, so we need to find that file and tell XBMC that that's where our movies are. So click on Add Source and browse for wherever your movies are saved they might be under um, I don't know my movies or something now this shouldn't take too long um, alright now you can see that that folders in there at the moment I'll show you how to now scrape for the information on all the movies um, and add them to your movies folder so what you want to do now is press C on that file that's going to bring this menu up and then you want to go through set content and now search your way keep clicking enter until you find movies now I click automated scan and scan recursively now on the right here these are the scrapers where it's going to scrape from you just want the movie database and then click OK that's going to go through and download information for my movies now it shouldn't take long because these are only the movies um, I have on my laptop at the moment but if you want to if you say if you had an external hard drive which is where I keep all my stuff um, the it's going to take a lot longer depending on how much movies you have but you can also just add the external hard drive and it will add all the movies all into the one's place so yeah just wait for it to do this push escape you can go back to the main menu now another another adjustment that I suggest that you do here is if you want to push S that's going to bring this menu up and turn on home visualizer 